God, what year is it? What year? Oh, right, it's the new movie thing show. Where is Meg? Oh my God, don't shoot. <laughs> Meg! Uh, Steve, all right. Hey guys, welcome to the triumphant return of the new movie thing show. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. In this show, we watch new movies that are out in theaters and we review them for you. And this week we saw... Looper! Oh yeah! So in Looper, in 2072, when the mob wants to get rid of someone, the target is sent 30 years into the past where a hired gun waits to shoot them. Joe is one of those hired guns who learns one day that the mob wants to close his loop by sending his future self back. All right, so we're gonna hit a quick review. If you can't wait to get to the theater, you gotta get your 30 second review in. I loved it, go see it, it's awesome. And my quickie review would be, it is sci-fi, time travel awesomeness with action and cool sci-fi stuff, so see it. The movie was directed by Ryan, Ryan Johnson, who also directed some episodes of Breaking Bad, like the Fly episode, which I like and a lot of people don't like, I don't know. I didn't watch it. He also directed Brick, which starred Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who's in this film as well as the lead character, Joe. We can't forget Bruce Willis is in the film. That's right. Emily Blunt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Joe is actually playing the younger version of Bruce Willis. And the cool thing is they actually put a prosthetic onto Joseph Gordon-Levitt's face. What? Real life, they touched the beauty that is his face. Wait, that's not what Joseph Gordon-Levitt looks like? It's cool because Joseph Gordon-Levitt actually looks so much like Bruce Willis. There's a scene where they're shot from profile and they match. Identically. Yeah, it's pretty great. The movie also stars Paul Dano, who's been in movies like There Will Be Blood, and where did I just see him in? Cowboys and Aliens. And I like Paul Dano. I think he's a great actor. And I've always said, if there was ever going to be a Joker replacement in the future, like there's got to be a new Joker at some point. I would say maybe Paul Dano, but whoever plays the next Joker is going to be, I mean, he's screwed. Yeah, it's, it's going to be difficult. But I think the really big one to point out, which I was surprised by, Jeff Daniels. Yeah. Is this movie, and he is badass. He's great. Yeah, he plays kind of like this mobster, head honcho kind of guy. I don't want to spoil too much, but he is. He's kind of a badass. Yeah. All right, guys, now we're going to do a segment we call Love It. Or Hate It. Oh. I just shot your heart with a gun from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my love it moment is that we were talking about how realistic the time travel is. So when people hurt themselves, the past self, the future Ooh, self has yeah. the wound, and it's, it's they use it in such really cool ways. Really creative ways that I haven't seen done in movies. Ever, yeah. Yeah, very cool. My hate it moment was there is a part at the very beginning of the movie, totally not spoilers, where Bruce Willis shoots somebody, and the guy literally goes, oh, oh. he has like the most comical death ever. <laughs> Maybe it was the director or something. He wanted to get his ham moment in. And I, I literally, it's the guy in the fire escape who watched the movie and I turned to Steve and I was like, did that really, did that just happen? <laughs> that was horrible. That's pretty good. So my love it would be just the time travel aspect of the film. I really like how they explained every aspect of it pretty much. My hate it would be that I had a hard time connecting uh, or feeling bad for the loopers only because this is a profession they choose. When you're a looper, your, your job is to kill people sent from the future in the present. You get the riches, you get the drugs, you get the cars, you get the girls, but at the end of the day, you're still a murderer. I could not connect with him on a level where I could feel uh, like I was rooting for him, only because, again, he's a murderer and I don't like murder, all right? All right, so I'm gonna give this film five Mrs. Penny Apples out of five. Ooh, who's Mrs. Penny Apple? It's my puppy. Oh, that's adorable. I'm gonna give the movie four out of five Steves. That's how I prove this movie. You're so egotistical. <laughs> It's my opinion. It should be my, it should yeah, be my face. Great. Own up to it. All right, next week we're either going to be seeing Frank and Weenie or Pitch Perfect. We want to know which one you guys want us to see, so let us know in the comments down below. So if you can't make it out to the movies this weekend, you can go to www.netflix.com slash sourcefed to get a 30-day trial of Netflix, and you could watch movies with us on the uh, Movie Club show. So please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and click the annotation to go to sourcefed.com and see all the cool stuff we do, including the new Movie Thing show and Movie Club. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. Meg, I got to close the loop. Is that a poop joke? Yes.